Hey, this is the original OT to the C's easy, but you can call me T, you can call me TC. Hell, you can call me Tony, but you doesn't have to call me Cotton. Here today at Tom's Finance Center. Let's go in and check him out. Hi, my name is Jaden the Carman, and my dad just doesn't buy any car, so why should you? Hey, Tony Cotton here with Tom the Carman at Tom's Finance Center. Tom, great to be here today. Uh, always good to see you. Uh, you probably remember Tom uh, as far back as 1995. Yeah. Tom uh, did uh, many uh, infomercials, and you sold a lot of cars. Sold a lot of cars. Number one in the nation, matter Number of fact, in pre-owned vehicles. Yes. How'd you do it, Tom? Just being different. You know, when I look to buy a car, uh, I'm looking at that car because I'm not buying a car for me. I'm buying a car for you. Buying a car for somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, and and there's a there's a there's a responsibility in that. Okay. You know, not that I can sit here and make every car brand new. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, but trying to find a decent car, a good car, mechanical car. You know, all of them have characteristic problems. Mm -hmm. Trying to stay away from those ones that have characteristic problems uh -huh. that are major. You know, again, all of them have them but just not buying that stuff that has the major problems. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom, uh, tell our viewers all the different ways they can get in contact with you here at Tom Finance. Hey, Where are you located? Up. Well, we're here at 7911 Warden Road in Sherwood, Arkansas. Now, you can uh, Google that. Uh -huh. You can do North Little Rock or you can do Sherwood. I actually pull both, and it'll actually show you the site. Now, uh, when you look at that, that ain't us, so don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can see the building there and everything from Google Streets. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, uh, Facebook. You can go and like us on Facebook. Please go like us on Facebook. Uh, we've got our website. Tell us a little bit about your website. You know, the technology that we are in in day and time in our world is so helpful and so beneficial. Mm -hmm. You know, because on our website today, you can go on the website and you can get pre-approved. Wow. You can find out and know if you can get approved. You mm -hmm. know, and today challenging credit is technology as detailed things are today, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. But first of all, Tom, you are a finance center. We are a finance center. You know, I've always prided myself as helping people get their credit reestablished. Mm -hmm. You know, and to do that, a car has always kind of been a byproduct. Uh, it is, you know, but I've always tried to make sure that I got you in a decent car, you know. I, I'm, I have a friend, got a shop. He's got several cars over there. Warranties wouldn't fix it. Customers never came back and picked it up. Finance company didn't pick it up. But guess who's going to have to pay for that car? Mm. That customer's still going to pay for that car. Tom, you've always been a helper, and that's what you're here uh, for today uh, to help the consumer. Is that right? You know, I'm here to help give you advice. I had a girl the other day come in. Or actually, we converse through the website different ways, and she had a repo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you know, uh, truth is truth, right? Go ahead, Tom. She was being garnished. Okay, mm -hmm. they came after her and was garnishing her wages for that vehicle. Now, I was going to be able to help her get that taken care of. Okay, and get her into a vehicle. Now, I was going to probably have to put her in something that I was going to finance. Uh huh. But, but we you had the ability to do that, though. Right. We had the ability to do that. And it wasn't going to be something long-term. It wasn't going to be anything high dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, it was going to be something to get around. Now, she didn't got a car. She needed a car. Okay? Now, this is a special circumstance. But I had worked out with her a plan to be able to get back on the road, get back into something she wanted to drive in about six to eight months. Okay? Well, she didn't want to do that. Well, you can't make them. You can't. I ain't you your lead mama. a horse to walk. Right. I ain't your mama. I ain't your brother. Can't tell I ain't your what daddy. No, you're not a brother, Tom. What'd no, you say? I'm not a brother. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I just, I, I tried. Uh -huh. I tried. I tried, you know, but she didn't want to do that. And that's fine. You know, like I said, that's fine. But that's what I'm here to try to help you do. I'm here to try to help you get it figured out best way possible because you know i want per a person to be able to go buy a new car if that's what they want to do but everybody can't do in three that. or four years uh -huh. okay or two years you know 
if that's what you want to do, I want to help you do it. Now, I've got people today, I'm sorry, but I've got people still today come up and shake my hand and say, man, thank you. Uh, what I was about to say, Tom, is you've been there. So when they yeah. come in, they've had problems, don't feel uh, like somebody's going to be condescending with you or whatever. Uh, you know what it's like to, to have hardship. Be up front. That's all I ask. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? When you're right. in that bureau, right. it's all there. Mm -hmm. You know, so there ain't no reason I you try to trick think, you, y'all on the same right, squad. Right. I mean, you know, if you try to not tell me what's going on, I mean, I can't help you. If uh -huh. you'll tell me where you're at, tell me what's going on, tell me what you want to do. You uh -huh. know, that's what I'm here to do. Again, a car is a byproduct. Now, I want to get you in a nice car. We're going to show you some of the cars we, we got. If you don't see the car that you like on my website, remember, Tom the Car Man, mm -hmm. you got Facebook, okay? We're going to have YouTube. Fox 16. Fox 16. Late at night or early in the morning. Late at night, early in the morning. A lot of different ways to find us. Mm -hmm. You know, so promotion. We're, we're promoting what we do to get you in a place to get where you want to be. Okay, now, Tom, I noticed you got a number of cars here on the lot, but uh, if they don't see it here, uh, you have the means to find what they're looking for. Correct. I mean, I got the ability again today, the technology, different things. You know, I pick up the phone, there's... I've got eight or nine guys that I can ask what they've got, mm -hmm. uh, you know, different wholesalers, different avenues, different ways, websites, you know, to be able to find out. I don't have a used car factory, okay, but, and, you know, we got to make sure, too, you can qualify. Just because mm -hmm. you want that nice, you know, SUV, that may have to be your next car. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it. What we're here to do is to help you get yourself reestablished to be able to get in a place where you can do what you want to do and be able to buy what you want to buy. Right. And Tom, one of your uh, slogans is, you don't just buy any car. So, so why, why should you? Right. So <laughs> yeah. tell me what you mean by that. Well, I'm particular what I buy. I try not to buy stuff with characteristic problems. I mm -hmm. try not to buy stuff, you know, uh, with Carfax. Uh, we try not to buy them cars that have the possibility of even being a known, you know, right, known problem. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we've got service records that are held. But see, now we also have the ability, being dealers, to pull some things that the consumer can. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, I don't want to buy anything that's got uniframe damage, okay? Now, uniframe damage, uh, the vehicle could have been in an accident, and uniframe is not part of salvage mm -hmm. but that means that frame's been bent okay right i don't want to buy those cars uh -huh. you know they could have problems uh now tom when you go out to to buy a car what what are some things what's one of the basic things that you're looking for uh or something that would be uh a red flag or something that would be a, a a deal maker for you well again i'm not buying a car for me i'm buying a car for you so i want to look at that and i have to look at that you know, naturally, I want stuff that is marketable and sellable. I mean, that's what everybody wants to, you know, everybody wants. Mm -hmm. But I'm also looking for something that I can, you know, feel comfortable in. Now, again, cars are mechanical. They're all made to break. We do the best we can to not buy that kind of stuff. But, you know. Mm -hmm. But, Tom, now, your credit is one of the uh, aspects about buying it, but. Uh, you don't really care about the credit. You care more about the car they drive. That's another slogan of yours. Right. I don't care about the mean? credit. I don't care about the car you drive. Well, credit is a part of everything we do today. Okay. Mm -hmm. But credit is not the total basis that I'm looking at when I'm trying to get you into a car. Now, if you've got damaged credit, if you've got a repossession, I need to know that. Okay. Because we got to structure it. Uh, they've got to know if if you've got bankruptcy. Right. I can help you. If you're self-employed, I can help you. If you're on disability, I can help you. But there's a certain structure that has to be done, mm -hmm. okay? And I need to know that. You can't just spring stuff like that on me. These programs don't work like that. See, the, the way these programs work, they're a little different than traditional financing. Uh -huh. Because basically what they do is the people who pay, pay for the people who don't pay, mm. okay? And that's just the truth of the matter. Not everybody's going to pay. But we, I, I've always had a higher percentage of pay rate mm -hmm. than what most lots did. And the reason why is because, again, I'm not going to try to put you in more of a car than you can handle just because you want that car. 
Okay, so you know, don't be. You're gonna try to me. please the customer. I'm but gonna you're try gonna to be please realistic. Customer, but we got to be realistic. I mean, I'm here to help you, not hurt you. I'm not here just to sell you a car. What I'm hearing, Tom, is they need to be honest with you. Need to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you everything. I just need to know where you're at. You know, again, uh, documentation is what what they're looking at. Okay, now we have the ability today to do, uh, let's say you've got a bunch of repossessions, mm -hmm. right? Well, if that's the case, you haven't paid for your cars. Now, there might be a circumstance for you on what has happened with that, right? right? But you, you need know, to know. I've got to know. There's a way that I can possibly help you get financed, okay? But a bank, let's face it, they're going to want their property secured too, right? Right. I mean, they're lending you the money. You know, they don't want to sit out here and lend a bunch of money and then somebody just run off. So they got to know that they can be able to collect from you. That's what they're looking for. So I'm trying to match you with a lender. If I can match you with that perfect lender and that lender is we're together, then win-win. Hey, tell me again, Tom, all the many ways they can uh, get in contact with Tom the Car Man. Tom the Car Man dot com. Uh huh. Tom's Finance Center dot com. We got a Facebook page. Please like us on Facebook. Uh, and then we also saw Jaden, the yeah. Carmen. Tell us a little bit about old Jaden. You know, well, yeah. he's my son. Uh -huh. you know, he's 10 years old, so I had him a little late in life. So, you know, when you have that problem, I know that one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, let's don't talk too much about yeah. the problem. We got, no, we that's got a good thing. We got, a good thing. We, got, we got things that kind of sit. Don't even use the age. But go ahead about old Jaden, Jaden, the Carmen, yeah. Tom. He, he's it's uh, a family show, man. He's a family show, so okay. be careful. Yeah. Right? He's 10 years old, and uh, you're going to see him here a little bit, and uh, uh, he is a car man. He, uh, he even has an email, Jaden. Well, he's, he's Jaden the little car man, he's but we're going to go ahead and give him, give him the title Jaden the car man right now. Every day, he says, well, Danny, how many cars did we sell today? Uh, you sold no, we didn't sell <laughs> any, <laughs> grasshopper. <you know? laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, on that note, let's take a little short break. Be right. right back. Hi, my name is Jaden the Carman, and my dad just just buy in a car, and why should you? Why? Why should you? This is Tom the Carman, Tom's Finance Center. I'm here with one of my buyers today, and I'm going to discuss, we're going to talk a little bit about what we buy and what we look for. Remember, when I'm buying a car, I'm not buying a car for me, I'm buying a car for you, so i got to be particular. Well, Tom, part of the process is is uh, I think about when my wife's looking for a car. She she's uh, she can she can judge what she can see, but it's what she can't see. And uh, she wants to know about the brakes and the tires and the motor and the transmission. So we have mechanics available to help us look at. We're not mechanics. We're I'm a buyer. We're in we're in the retail wholesale business, but we have mechanics that's in place to help us look at the mechanical parts of these cars and make sure that they're sound, there's no major mechanical problems. It's like Tom said, you know, he's not buying for him, he's buying for you. And so when I'm out here buying for Tom, I've got that in mind. I've got his best interest in mind, also yours. I'm a little bit picky. You know, what we're doing here is a little bit different. We're trying to get you reestablished. We're trying to get your credit reestablished. The car is a byproduct. PG, what are some of the other tools that you have at your ability to, that customers don't have when you look at a car? Well, Tom, everybody can access Carfax, even the public can, but we have a tool that's only available to, uh, to a dealer. I only have access. Other dealers like me have it. So when I'm buying a car, I use that tool because it gives me a more in-depth look at the history of that car uh, that, that might, we would need to know because I know what, Tom's looking for in a car. And so we take an in-depth look at that. You know, they hadn't developed yet a CAT scan for a vehicle. Okay, They don't have anything today that they can run that car through and tell us exactly what's wrong with it. Cars are mechanical. We all know that. They're made to break. Every shop in the city, every car lot in the city, new car lot, they have a service center. We put warranties on our cars. Our warranties are there to protect you, to protect us. It gives us some fallback. But you know what? Just like I was telling you earlier, what if the warranty company says no? What happens to you when you're at most dealerships and they tell you, they say, well, we can't fix it for whatever reason? You're stuck. I'm a little different. I'm going to be here to help you. 
We're going to help you get it fixed. We're going to help you get you back on the road. Now, now I can't do something for free, and I'm not saying I am going to do it for free. But, you know, I can get stuff fixed cheaper than you can because this is what I do. This is how we do things. And when PG's looking at a car, he tries to look at those things that are not major, but maybe minor stuff. Well, Tom, you know, uh, two things I want to point out and look at, because, see, uh, when I look, use the tool that I have, uh, it can tell me how many owners that car has and how often it's changed ownership. And, and so uh, that's important because if it's changing ownership real quick, then that gives me a red flag because I'm concerned about something. But also beyond that is uh, we can check the service records, how many times they've taken it in for service and it's maintained well. You know, it's like life. If you don't take care of your body, your body will break down, just like a car. If you don't maintenance it and service it properly, it's going to break down. Somewhere along the road, somebody's going to inherit that problem. And we're trying to prevent you from inheriting a problem. That's what Tom's after here. It's always been, I've always found, when a customer's out there and they've got troubles, you call a dealer up or you talk to somebody. And I don't want to specify any. There's a lot of good dealers out there. But, you know, what do you do? How do you feel when somebody says to you, I can't help you, sorry, you bought the car as it is. That's where I'm different. Hi, my name is Jaden Carmen, and my dad just does buy in car, and why shouldn't you? Why? Seriously, why? Hey, Tom, what you got on the lot special right now today? Well, we've got all our cars are always special. You know that, Tony. But uh, this little G6 here, hardtop convertible, great car. Now, you can go to our website. You can see all these vehicles. Tony, guess what? What? You can get pre-approved on that car today and come back and pick it up tonight. We're in a technical age, okay? You can look at the vehicles uh, on the, online. Online. Tom the car man. Dot com or Tom's Finance Center dot com, either one. But I am Tom the car man. Right. So hit that site. We can get you pre-approved. You can look at the inventory. Now our inventory changes daily. Sometimes I can't get all the cars on there. So if you don't see something, please don't think I may not have it. Because guess what? What is that? I can find it. That's you know, we talked to PG. Mm -hmm. He's one of my buyers. I've got several other buyers. I can pick up the phone right now to about nine or ten different people and possibly try to find a car that you're wanting. I'll tell you what, Tom, this is a real beauty. It's a Razorback Red, and then, like you say, man, that hard top convertible, uh, it's not only unique, but it's really practical uh, in the winter. It's just like driving a regular car down the road. It don't uh, shift as much, and this is a GT, which means it is a little bit more performance. This is a nice car here. Three owners. Um, we've got all the particulars if you want to see more on it, uh, you know, on this car. Hey, now, Tom, now, the, the main thing you do down here, it's a finance uh, a center, so, uh, but you're here to help. We're here to help. I'm a little different. You know, you can go anywhere to buy a car, but what are you trying to do? Are you really wanting to try to reestablish? Are you wanting to move ahead? You know, I, Tony, I still got people today that walk up to me and shake my hand and tell me thank you. This is a place, Tom, where you're not only just buying a vehicle, uh, you're trying to help the, the customer, but, but, but what you are really is a consumer advocate. You have a plan where you can, it, it's not only just buying that one vehicle at a time, you're looking on in the future where they can upgrade, right. uh, uh, establish a credit by, right. you know, uh, buying a, a lower cost vehicle right now and, and graduate up uh, to a, a vehicle that they're really, really looking for if it's a new vehicle. Right, and you know, you gotta have goals, We gotta, and we gotta work towards sometimes, we gotta work towards stuff. And you know, that's what I wanna do. I wanna help you get to that place. How about this beautiful black Jeep? It is uh, rubbered up, it's a limited edition. This vehicle, per the internet, is actually worth more than what the book value is. Wow. Yeah, and, and we have access, you know, because what they're doing is, is they're going in and rating that vehicle for the mileage, uh, the owner's service records, that it hadn't been in an accident, things like that. Like we said before, you can go to our website, TomTheCarMan.com. You can look at vehicles. We can get you pre-approved. Now, remember, if you look on there and you don't find a car that you want or like or anything else, what we're here to do, I can find a vehicle. Now, I don't have a used car factory I can call, okay? 
We may not get it tomorrow, maybe next week. But we can get you pre-approved. We can know exactly where you need to be to get set up and get ready and get back into a good vehicle. I'm a little different because I'm here not only to sell you a car, but also help you after that sale. Because you know what? i said this for years. If I take care of you, you're going to take care of me. Now tell me a little bit more about this Jeep, Tom. You said, first of all, it's uh, uh, worth even more. It's a limited. But you say it's worth even more than what the... Yeah, the market value uh, per Carfax shows that the vehicle is worth $1,150 more above retail. Uh -huh. So they have a fixed value of what the vehicle's worth, and they're saying it's worth more. That's the kind of cars I look for. You know, I want those cars that have a... There's something a little special about them. I wish that I could sit here and go through this car and had x-ray vision like Superman, you know, but I'm just Tom the car man. Now, Tom, you have like Volvos, uh, Cadillacs, uh, and all that's uh, right here on the lot today. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your, uh, when you move into the luxury. Well, now, this is a Cadillac, or the, yeah, the Cadillac SUV. I mean, these things, it's Cadillac. I mean, they speak for themselves, right? I mean, uh, Tired up. It's got good miles. And see, this one right here is an 05. It's got. It's had two owners. It's also rated above market value. Um, it's a V8, all-wheel drive. So you know, if we got bad weather coming up this this winter, perfect vehicle. Put your family in. Be safe. Tell us a little bit more. Now, one of your uh, slogans is, uh, "We don't care about your credit. We care about." Uh, what you drive. We, we don't care about your credit. We care about the car you drive. And that's true. You know, today it's the market has changed a little bit. Now, they are still lenders, and we still have lenders where, you know, bringing in your check stubs. But nowadays, now we can do self-employed, okay? We can do if you're on fixed income, uh, if you get paid in cash. There's ways around that today with the market that we can help you. And now, this is the main thing. It's Tom Finance Center, Tom. Now, tell them what that really means. Well, finance center means this. The car is a byproduct, okay? Uh, what we're trying to do is help you get reestablished. What we're trying to do is, you know, help you take the next step. You know, we've all had problems. We've all messed up. We've all done things in life where, you know, we wish we could go back, wish we could change. You know, there's probably people out there who's had a real good job, lost it. What happens? Finances. But the thing is, Tom, uh, when they come in here to talk to you, they aren't talking to a guy that uh, everything's been perfect uh, all his life, and, and he's looking down on them and saying, oh, you have this kind of problem. I've been through it. I mean, you know, I know what it's like to have troubles. I know what it's like, you know, to uh, wonder how in the world you're going to pay for that. I'm wonder, wondering what am I going to do. You know, uh, you have a job 20 years, and you wake up tomorrow morning, and it's gone, you know. Uh, six years ago or five years ago, I got hit by a car. I never woke up that morning thinking I was going to get hit by a car. I've had several surgeries, uh, you know, been recovering. I'm still recovering. But again, Tom, the thing about it is you've been there. You, you've been frustrated in that way before, but you're here to help. So, you know, you know what it's like. I know what it's like, you know. Now, we have the lenders. And when they get you pre-approved, you know, the, everything's a science nowadays. I mean, they put you in, and they rate you differently. They don't just look at your credit, okay? Uh, they look at different things to try to help you to better yourself and, and to be able to finance a vehicle. But, you know, like we've said for years, a lot of these finance companies, you know, they don't finance you on your willingness to pay, but your their, their ability to collect. Mm -hmm. Because, hey, Banks got to collect. I mean, you got to pay your bill. But, you know, like I was telling you earlier, if you've got troubles, the hardest thing in the world to do is what am I going to do? You think, what am I going to do? You've got somebody here who can help. Pick up the phone. You call me. We're going to figure it out for you. we got Facebook, Tom's Finance Center's on Facebook. You can like us there. Uh, we're going to be on YouTube, Tom's Finance Center. Or Tom the car man, either one of those you can look up. Fox 16. Fox 16. Give you a call. Give me a call. Come by the shop. Just, hey, just give us a shot. Give us a give us a look. You know, I'm not going to be able to sell everybody, but I want to sell you a car. 
Hey, but what about the difference, Tom? Is there a difference in car buying around here? Yeah, there is a difference. There's car dealers everywhere. There's a lot of cars, but you know I'm a little different, and you'll see once you come out here and talk to me. Tom's Finance Center. Hey, Tom, everybody's excited about uh, Tom the Car Man and Tom's Finance Center. Tell them how they get cranked up from start to finish. All right. How easy Very simple. Yeah. We've got the uh, YouTube, which will link you, link you to our site if you want to go there. Uh, Fox 16, we'll link you uh, website there, TomTheCarMan.com, Tom'sFinanceCenter.com. Great. Click on the pre-approval, get pre-approved. We're not going to take your information. It's not going to go to 15 different lenders or anything like that. It's only going to one place so we can get an idea of where we're at. Good. The whole purpose of the pre-approval is to get you approved. Now, the approval is going to let us know which direction we need to go. All right, the direction as far as vehicle, are we needing to take some baby steps or are we need to, whatever we need to do. Um, but remember, be honest and upfront with those right. Go ahead. Yeah, we got to know where you're at. Don't try to hide something because it's going to show up. Uh -huh. And if we don't have to, if we know what's going on, we can make plans for it. All right, so from that point, you can go to the inventory. Now, if you don't see something there you like, remember, we constantly got cars going in and out, constantly, mm -hmm. right? Average time of car here is 10, 15 days. If you see something you like, it ain't going to last long, so you better hurry. Great. Now, once that, I'm going to let you know what you're going to need to bring in. Check stubs, proof of residence. Mm -hmm. But you got different programs, Tom, yeah. so, and it's different criteria. So the main thing is uh, make the contact. Make the contact. Don't. I don't care Let's if you're self-employed. Right. If you're Spanish, bring somebody in to help you translate. I, ain't, I don't know Spanish Not yet. yet Tom. Not yet. Uh -huh. But I'm going to, I am going to learn, but bring See, somebody senor. in. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Just bring somebody in to help uh -huh. you translate because whether you speak Spanish, speak right. English, we're right. here to help. Right. Okay. Any, everybody. Any and everybody. Right. So from that point, we need to find out, are you an A? Are you a D? What's that A stand for? Well, A <laughs> means, <laughs> that's, A means good. that's good. That's <laughs> good. Right. But you know, you still ain't, uh, you still need help. Right, right. Okay. And this but is where you get help. This is where you get help. This is what we thing. do. Right. So they're going, we're going to know exactly where you're at. Just let me know. Call me. We can finalize the documents. I can do it by email or text if you like. But there'll be some point we'll have to talk. Again, now this is a finance center time. Right. And that means what? That means that our purpose is to get you financed. Because I don't buy just any car, so why should you? Right. Mm -hmm. But we got to know those things. We got to have a documents. Documents is what we need. Check stubs, proof of your income, whether you're self-employed, disability, you get paid cash. We got to know it. There's ways to work around it, whatever your situation. But we got to know what it is. You can't surprise us at the end. Right. Whether you use the uh, website, you come here uh, in person, call by phone. You got a um, uh, multiplicity of ways yeah. uh, uh, to contact you, but you got to uh, start somewhere, Tom. You got to start somewhere in that website. Get pre approved. Once you're pre approved, we're on our next step to get you in the car you want. Tom the Car Man at Tom Finance.